All right, what we have here is a fix to this check valve that we did. Essentially, the problem was that this washer wasn't exactly true. The radius on it was different, so it was a little off center and it would get stuck when it would go up and down on the check valve. This piece, if it turns in one way, it would sometimes get stuck and keep the valve in the closed position in the ram, and that would prevent the pump to work properly. So I had a good friend of mine machine out this washer, kind of chew it up basically. You can see the shiny part is what he removed and then you can see this portion here this was kind of the original smallest radius so he made this washer essentially the same all the way around and that's so that it would sit properly on the inside you can see this little portion here maybe it's like a 3 16 seat this washer needs to sit just like that. So that what that is what seals this um, check valve. That's what makes it work. Now I did use a rubber gasket. I kind of made it out of a. This is from an inside of a tire. So it's a kind of a nylon reinforced rubber. It's fairly soft. I punched a hole, so this was the original. But I also have this silicon rubber. With that I'm gonna make a new washer that will go right on top of here and kind of sandwich it all together onto this shaft. So I am going to use an O-ring here, essentially, in between the the metal washer and then the nuts on this uh, thread threaded rod it's about 12 inches long I'll be using this uh, essentially Teflon tape to seal the thread on this um, bushing here so you can see that to keep with this metal piece, it doesn't have to be this big, just as long as the hole lines up in the middle. And these machine bolts are essentially, they're holding the plate. They can be you know, two and a half, three inches off the top. It's kind of relative. As long, and there's a, another hole just like this in the bottom of the um, check valve to keep this rod moving nice and straight. These are the tools I'll be using. The anesthes is just to kind of put it on the thread so that the stainless steel nuts don't really bind together to the um, to this rod here. I'm not sure if that's really necessary, but we'll just put a little bit on there. And I'm using just some basic rubber or these uh, nitrile O-rings to kind of make a good seal so that when it, when it closes, it keeps the pressure inside the check valve. So this is the setup. We have basically a nut nut with a nylon locking so that it doesn't undo. Then there's an o-ring, a metal washer, a rubber gasket that's we have to cut out, and then another washer for support, another o-ring, and another nut locking the hole thing together. Alright, and the seal on it feels pretty good. Put this o-ring and that's so that when this valve opens the o-ring is going to be like a bumper use the wing nut so that I wouldn't need necessarily additional tools to make any adjustments. I can
and now we're going to add this okay we've got the thread sealed we've got everything assembled and now it's time to go install it here's our pump we're gonna slide this right in there we want our shaft to go into that hole. Want it nice and tight. You don't want any pressure leaking when it's operating. Okay, we've got this installed. Now you can see uh, this doesn't really have too much movement so we're going to raise up and then you want the opening to be a little bit more so you don't want the you want that washer that piston to be right about here but not lower because you want the water to be flowing fully underneath the piston and not over the piston so we can make adjustments during operation. So we'll, we'll start off with this and see how it goes. All right, here we are at the, the full tank. And this is our drive pipe. We're gonna open up the water. And then off it goes. So here's the hydraulic ram pump operating. When I stopped this ram, so you can see I stopped the pump and the pressure drops to 39 psi. That means the water stopped flowing. And when I start the pump again by pushing this uh, shaft, so when I push here, it starts again, and you can see it's up, it's working at 40 psi. So static pressure is 39, and we're making 40, so one psi difference. That means there's water flowing on the other end. It's going down this pipe 80 feet vertically. I will do some experimentation by adding weight here to make it heavier and also the travel distance. So this is in the closed position and it drops down to this O-ring, this rubber seal or kind of a, a rubber bumper if you will. So this is the distance this piston travels. So you can see this pump working. This is hydraulic ram pump. It's operating at about 30 psi. And the problem I had before is that this valve sometimes would get stuck like this and it would just stop working randomly. Now, for me to get it working again, I needed to come here and push the valve to get it working. And that was because my washer wasn't perfectly round. So now you can see if I rotate the shaft and it works in any position and that's exactly what we want we don't want it to get stuck we want it to be reliable and work 24 7 all year and that's it